What's going on YouTube? So Vagabond Builds is coming at you today with a 2022 Toyota Corolla Cross. Now this is the all new car that Toyota is releasing and a little bit about it. It is kind of a, a crossover per se from Corolla kind of integrating itself between the CHR and the Toyota RAV4. We're gonna be doing a review of the exterior interior and some specs about the car and some minor differences between specific packages. But before we do, please subscribe, like to our channel, well, subscribe to our channel and like our videos. But a special, special shout out to Meta Toyota here in Sacramento, right off of Capital City Freeway. Let's go. So starting off with the front end of this new Cross, or the Corolla Cross is what they call it. I'm a huge fan because I grew up on the whole Corolla idea, and Corollas are just great low maintenance cars for beginners and for commuters and all that good stuff. But they come at you with a kind of compact SUV per se, let's say, but we're starting off with the front end and very nice big LED headlights. Now, the headlight itself is LED, certain markers and uh, signal lights are going to be the regular halogen bulbs. But one thing that's pretty cool is that Toyota does integrate Corolla Cross inside the uh, interior part of this headlight. Now that's a very cool feature that we're gonna be seeing also on the rear tail lights, but we do have a nice huge, see how this kind of comes, very nice kind of thins out coming towards the grill, kind of nice, very soft look. Very nice body lines here, a little bit of character. Now you're gonna be seeing a simplicity in this car, minimalist on this because it is the Corolla Cross L model. Now you do have three models. It is the L, the LE, and the XLE being the top packages. And we're gonna be showing you some differences. Coming over to the bottom, you do have this matte plastic look. Now remember this plastic is durability, durability, and it is strong. So in the long run, this will take a beating if you do look to taking these exact cars off road or you know up to the snow they do come standard of a front wheel drive but you can get them in the all wheel drive and my advice to anybody would be getting them in the all wheel drive if you don't find yourself going off road or over to the mountains or anything then get your front wheel drive because you do get better mpg now again the bottom trim now if you do have the xle package keep an eye out for the fog lights because these fog lights would come the led uh, fog lights, but being the L package, the base package, you do have the option to removing the caps and plugging in your own fog lights. But on this exact option, you do not have the fog lights. Nice kind of dark gray uh, trim bezel around this uh, huge grill. I'm liking this look on these new grills, kind of matte black look. Again, it is a very rough textured look with the Toyota emblem, very big here, letting you know that you are buying the Toyota, you see that on a lot of the Toyota cars. Very nice, a lot of, a lot of uh, people in general, or a lot of manufacturers are putting their emblems beautiful. Kind of when you're driving down the road, you're gonna catch your eye out on this Toyota emblem. Again, coming down, you do have this lower uh, valence trim here. It does match the exterior paint of the car. So that's very cool. Now coming over to the side, again, you see kind of how this nice cut comes up under the headlight. And you do have this black fender trim. Now, I want you to focus on something. It doesn't connect here on this lower front uh, bumper trim, but it does connect throughout the side of the car. So pay attention to that. Kind of giving it a nice offset look, a little bit of uh, something going on on the bottom and giving it some character coming up to the exterior. Check out this kind of nice uh, swift body cut or integrated indentation inside the body, giving it a little bit more character, not making it too boring. But you kind of, if you're taking a look, it kind of does resemble the Corolla. Very nice. If you are familiar with the Corolla, it's a beautiful look. Look at this hood. Very nice cut in this hood coming out with a little bit of pop here. You, that part where you are closer to the windshield, you kind of have a flat out look with a little bit of uh, body line here and body line here where it's coming up, comes down straight and then comes flat. So very nice kind of three uh, stage level hood. Now a pillar is the same color with a little bit of black plastic trim in there kind of matte 
uh, trim. Now you do have the matte black trim around the windows, but remember that I was telling you this is the L package, so on the XLE, you're going to be seeing the silver, um, metallic silver, let's say, trim on the top part of the windows, and you will st still see the kind of matte black look. Very simple, standard, basic uh, side mirror, no integrated um, lighting into this side mirror. You do have that matte black to uh, match the rest of the trim on this complementing that side mirror. It is a heated side mirror, so take that into consideration. Very nice option to have. Very nice, simple door handle with the um, lock key. Now, as we're coming into this whole new modern tech society, you don't really see these keys. I mean, you do see them in the lower base cars, but I forgot, I've been doing so many reviews on specific cars that I forgot even that the keys come integrated into these handles. So that's pretty cool, kind of brings you back the memory of the nice keys. Big fan of those because it just makes life more simpler if things break or not, but hey, it's all opinion again. Coming over to the back side of the car, very nice pop out on this rear quarter panel. From this re rear door over to the rear quarter panel, kind of giving it a more wider stance. Very nice big um, gas door. This does pop open by a latch. Again, the trim is connecting to that lower side. Do have nice ground clearance on this car, so take that also into consideration. So again, you are prepping for uh, you know, all terrain, whether it being dirt or snow or, or sand or those things, if you do have the all-wheel drives. Now, it does not connect to the back. So it doesn't connect to the front, but it also doesn't connect to the back. Kind of that exterior paint does split it up. So pretty cool. Coming over to this back, again, that matte plastic trim, very durable, strong plastic. Going through the years, you're not gonna have any problems with it, very durable. Again, now, you do see the same idea here in the back, exterior paint, matte plastic along with that exterior paint trim, lower um, trim panel, let's say. And then you do have the exhaust pipe a little bit more under the car. So remember that I kind of like it because you don't see that exhaust giving it more of a simple minimalist look. Again, this is the cap for the tow. If you do have that. Now you do have the nice uh, halogen tail lights. Again, two tone with the red and white. We don't see any yellow. I'm a big fan of the no yellow in the tail lights. And you do have the Corolla Cross integrated, like I was saying, from the front on the interior of these tail lights with a little bit of pop out, giving it some character, kind of different stage or different levels on that tail light. It's a nice character with that nice uh, black gloss trim. Now let's go ahead and head in to this back trunk area space. Remember, you do have the LED brake light with your uh, kind of small little spoiler, you know, a little bit Toyota emblem, and you do have your backup camera on this L. So you do get a backup camera on these standard or basic Corolla crosses here. You do have a push button trunklet open and it is manual. Oh, let me go ahead and unlock it. Got the keys in my pocket. It's like that. We're gonna push and we're gonna pull up. So now we're in the back of the new Corolla Cross 2022. We see that right here on the mat, shooting, shooting it right into our eyes, knowing that it is a Corolla Cross. You do have some personal cubby space, some plastic, durable plastic like we do see in the typical Corollas. And let's lift that up. You do have a cloth mat. And then you have the spare tires. I do like the spare tires. A lot of manufacturers are heading away from the spare tires, but I love to change my own tires. So very cool. You do have little compartments for little, I don't know, personal things, whatever you want to put in there. Now these back seats do go down by the push of a button. Just like that. Well, I didn't put that front seat up. Let me just go do that real quick. And that pops down just like that. And these seats, uh, do connect and you have, look at all that room. You do kind of have a multi-level um, connection between the back trunk space to the front, to the uh, back seat. But that is a pretty cool option to have. And look at all that room. You can fit, I mean, dishwasher back here or, you know, whatever you want. You don't want to drive the truck, put it back here. Let's go ahead and close that. Manually closing the tailgate. It's like that. Well, you need to make sure you slam that door. Okay, so we're pretty much done with the exterior. Let's go ahead and enter the interior of this car. So coming to the front side of this car, 
very simple Corolla look. You're gonna be seeing some resemblance on the interior of this car. Uh, you do have your window uh, control unit here with your unlock and lock button, and then window lock, and you can control your side mirrors right here from this little panel. Now you do have that kind of gray look with that matte door handle plastic look. Pretty durable, pretty strong. Your cup holder integrated with some room here for trash or personal space. Nice kind of metallic silver trim coming in. Now, this being the L, you do get the cloth seats. It is a nice, very gray cloth seat with some design in it. Not too boring or basic. So very cool that they actually took the time to actually took the time to put some design inside this basic L package. Let's go ahead and sit inside. Now these seats are manual. There's no electric. I don't know, like I'm I'm in between. I like the electric, but I also like the ma manual. If you do, let me know which one you like in the comment section below. Again, Corolla steering wheel with that Toyota popping in. Big fan of Corolla. It's always been manual push buttons for your uh, front cluster. Kind of gray, splitting up that top black of that dashboard with your kind of metallic silver trim black gloss trim coming through and then the gray with the nice black gloss trim around your um, control unit on your temperature settings. So pretty cool. Taking a look at the cluster, you do have your tachometer. They are still manual. They have the miles per hour right in front of you so you know when you're speeding or you know when you're going too slow and your RPM gauge on the left with your heating gauge. On the right, you have your info card on that cluster letting you know if the doors are open, or what's going on with the car, your trip, your mileage. Let's go ahead and turn on the car for the sake of the video. I mean, when I turn on this car, I just think Corolla because this motor sounds like the Corolla. They, we're gonna get to the specs about that car, but you do have parking and the lane assist uh, well, tech on this car. So that's pretty cool for it being an L. You do get some tech on this car. Again, your typical uh, rods for your windshield wipers, your signal lights, and your lights. And then your manual steering column control. So comes towards you, goes back, goes up and down, however you like, comfortable. Coming over to the infotainment center. Very nice screen. It is uh, uh, bigger and uh, kind of pops out of the dash. So more classier, I would say, with the black trim. Very nice, gives it more of a rich feel for the, being the Corolla Cross. Home button, go to menu, and you get your audio and your phone set up, and you do have Bluetooth uh, support on here, maps. Well, it's not installed, so if you want to upgrade it, and you can control your audio by the push of your button. Bluetooth and Siri XM, all that good stuff. Coming down, you have the USB. A plug-in with your options to do different accessories here. That Toyota offers so many accessories on their cars. Again, you have the single zone heating and air for the whole cabin of the car. Right here, you will control by your manual buttons and these knobs of temperature, cool, hot here, and then you come down just like that. And then you would turn it off right here by this button. L lowering down on the center console, very nice black trim with the silver metallic trim to match the rest. And again, that gray silver metallic here. You do have your parking button. Now, one thing I do like about this car is if your parking button's on and you go ahead and pop it and drive, that parking button automatically turns off. Very cool. Cup holders, pretty good. I mean, they're not too wide, but they are deep, so your cups aren't toppling over. Coming over, you do have a cloth top center console with a 12 volt inlet with the USB-A plug-in. So you do have two ports, so you're not fighting with the passenger on your plugins. Again, your standard with all the uh, Toyota handbooks in there, but your standard glove compartment. So we're pretty much done with this. You do have the Corolla Cross on the mats. Nice tech mats here for different weathers, for different uh, areas or terrains. And we're pretty much done. And let's go ahead and head over to the back side of this interior. So on the back side of this interior, let's go ahead and sit in and check out the space. Now I'm six feet two inches, like I always say in all my videos, and very nice head clearance. One thing I like about these kind of wagon slash um, compact SUVs, whatever you want to call them, is that 
they don't drop in the back and the people in the back seat are getting that same head clearance. Very nice, a lot of leg room here. The one thing I would have liked to see that Toyota did was to put that insert pocket that the passenger side has on the driver's side. Very simple controls here for the uh, flow of your air. Basic back of the center console. You do have your rubber mats on the floor. Remember, if you do have car seats, this does come car seat compatible. You would just remove these caps right here and you can connect to your car seat, up to two car seats in this car. Again, remember, very nice um, angle, kind of upright on these back uh, seats. Take that into consideration if you're doing long trips and I would be doing long trips in this car because of the gas mileage and the reliability is just great on these Toyotas. Do have a cup holder inserted in this door panel. Very simple, gray with the black plastic door panel. And then you have your window control here. So pretty much basic, straight to the point. A little bit of lighting if you need it. Very nice true color lighting so you don't have that dark yellow auburn look, but very nice. So we're pretty much done with this Corolla Cross uh, L package. So we're going to go ahead and talk some specs about the car. So some specs about this car. You do have the four cylinder engine, the 2.0 liter. Now this is a stamp from Toyota. Low maintenance, very reliable. That is great. I love these motors. Dual variable valve timing, the CVT transmission. This exact uh, model comes with the 17 inch steel wheels with the hubcaps. Some MPG for you on this exact model is 31 city. 33 highway with 32 combined. So we're pretty much done guys with the review on this uh, Toyota Corolla Cross. We do have some great reviews coming, different packages. Stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching our channel, Vagabond Builds. Again, subscribe and like our videos. We appreciate your guys' time.